OMG PVG! What up PVGs? We are back once again with another unboxing video and today we are featuring a rather peculiar product. We have Speedstorm and this is the Dragonfire Face-Off. So normally we typically wouldn't buy this but we're in Toys R Us. Yes, Canada still has Toys R Us for all you people down in the comments. People are like freaking out. We like uploaded some stories and stuff like that about Toys R Us and people are like, oh my god, I'm so jealous. It's yes, still there. Canada still has Toys R Us. Um, so we were at Toys R Us and then I saw this and I wasn't going to pick it up, but then I'm like, what is this? They're trying to promote some like limited edition Forge Disc stuff. Flame Forge Disc. It seems like it's a new type of like product series that they're trying to promote. Hasbro has multiple booster sets um, that are like this one that feature different Flame Forge Discs. Trying to get you guys to collect every single one, basically. It doesn't seem like anything, anything special about yeah, it at all. The Dragon Fire name, yeah. it's just like pretty intense. Like yeah. it sounded like a like base, new base stadium name or something. Exactly. But it's not though. It's just the name of the set, and yeah, I don't know. Typically, I wouldn't buy this, but I was like, whatever. Let's unbox it. Let's check out what this whole Flame Forge this thing is about. Um, and plus, if you don't have the parts already, maybe this one is a good set to buy. Um, but yeah, let's flip over to the back of the box just to check out the parts. So the first bay that we get is Vex Dragon D6, and that is a right spin bay, it's a defense type. It comes with a D84 disc, which has a fused attack power gimmick to it. Comes with a TSP15 performance tip, and this one is looking super, super tall. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's pointy, it looks extra tall to me. Stats, take a look, high in defense, obviously being a defense type, every other stat is like meh. So the second bay we get is Mirage Devilos D6, and of course that is a dragon bay as well, right? Devilos and dragon, obviously. They're both dragon symbols or motifs. So yeah, it all kind of fits together, right? This one is an attack type. It's a left spin. Uh, comes with D81 disc and a TSP05-M performance tip, which has the heavy metal hit ability or gimmick, which adds that extra bit of metal down the performance tip there for that extra weight. So yeah, this one here, high in stamina. Uh, but yeah, the destroy driver overall has like pretty decent stamina actually. But would you really rate that at 11 and your attack at five? I, I guess so, right? Because you're given like a, almost like a Fafnir, it's a Mirage Fafnir type of, you know, lair. So uh, yeah, very odd mix of parts. Yeah, I'm kind of falling asleep looking at the box right now. Legit. So hopefully once you open it up, I can actually feel some excitement. I want to see this Flame Forge disc, man. It's all the hype right now, isn't it? Yeah, for all you people that don't collect too much Speedstorm, it's not that bad, right? It's at least more gimmicky and there's like kind of more reason to get this than like any other booster, I guess, right? If you don't care about getting the, you know, color correct parts and stuff. So two bays, two launchers, and your Flame Forge disc, extra pieces right there. Okay. Um, box it all. You're going, you going for the bonus goods first. Yeah, because right? that's the star of the show. That's the, literally the only reason why I picked this off the shelf. That okay. marketing though. Right there. Wow. Guys, it's so cool. It's a red 11 disc. Oh my god. Yo, insert like oh my the god. chirping, chirping uh, crickets. Uh, uh, can you guys uh, feel the excitement in my voice? My 11 disc. It's red. Okay, anyways, let's unbox the rest and then let's take a close look at everything. Okay, folks, here we go. All the parts laid out for you guys. So for the two bays, I mean, like I was saying earlier, right? If you don't have that many Speedstorm bays, this might not be that bad of a set to get if you don't care about getting like the exact combos and everything like that. It does have like a pretty decent theme to it, right? Everything is dragon inspired and whatnot, right? That's why you get Devilos, that's why you get dragon. So yeah, you have Mirage, Devilos, D6. I'm not a huge fan of the colors for this one, like this yellow and green combo. Not looking that hot for me anyways. But being that it's a Speedstorm, you know, product, right? They do like to throw in some random colors. Yeah, they pretty much just like made sure that the dragon theme was there. So I think that's why they made those colors. Okay, the next part here, this one you can at least be a little bit hyped about because this version of the wheel disc is actually not that bad. It does weigh less than the original from Takara Tomy, but it actually weighs quite a bit still overall. So for you folks that are looking for a pretty heavy disc, don't sleep on this one. Yo, honestly, I think this disc is better than that special edition disc that you got from this set. <laughs> of course, that one's legit just old school 11 disc, but we'll look into that again in a little bit. For the performance tip, we have Destroyer-SPM. So this is essentially just another destroyer driver, added the metal to it, right? Not a super new part or anything like that. 
but I am a pretty big fan of the Destroy Driver, so not a bad one to get. The second bay you get is Vex Dragon D6. So you get that Vex from the, uh, basically it's Variant Lucifer, essentially, right? So, I don't know, yeah, super defensive type of energy layer base, but then, yeah, they give you a dragon chip on top of that. Um, so yeah, still fits the whole dragon, fire, flame, blah, 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 fame, whatever they got going on for it, right? It's in red as well, so at least it matches, right? So the next part here we have is 3AD, or 3A-D, so this is the fused 3A chassis. Um, it's like the Scaratomi chassis, but nerfed extremely, right? So it does have the blue plastic fused with the metal. This actually doesn't weigh as much as that wheel disc by itself. Put that into perspective, guys. Like, that wheel disc is still a good part to get. So for the performance tip, this one here is Needling SP. This is just a super odd driver overall. The needle driver is so old school, and now you get like a super awkward long version. <laughs> and yeah, it has like a round base, and it essentially has a bunch of small little needles or tips coming out of it. Yeah. And that yeah. reminds me of the Halo 2 weapon. Oh, yeah, with the spikes coming out. I yeah. know which one you're talking about. Yeah, it's just such an odd driver. I never liked this one to begin with, but yeah, now we have an extra long version for the people that do like it. Okay, let's put them together really quickly. Hasbro Speedstorm stuff, so they just slide on. Look at them. They're, it's insane. Look how tall this is, guys. It's just crazy. The needling performance tip makes the combo look even taller because it's such a sharp point, but that's just my opinion. I see it that way. Let us know what you BBGs think of this set overall. It's pretty gimmicky, right? They're trying to follow the theme here, and I get that. They're trying to sell that. At least you get that wheel disc, right? And I think the Destroyer SPM driver is not too bad either. The star of this is this right here, though. Is it, though? The Flame Forge disc! So it's an 11 disc that's been recolored with a red paint and at least it was done well, I guess, right? They didn't even bother doing the bottom though, look. <laughs> like, did you really have to save paint on the bottom? This is supposed to be like a limited edition item. So yeah, there are other sets that have other Flame Forge disc, right? And so they basically want you to collect all of them. So enough about that disc. Let's look into the game and see what they look like in there. Go ahead and take these codes. If you guys want it in your game, at least you won't have to buy it. We'll hook you up right there. Okay, let's take a look at Vex Dragon first. There you go. Needling SP. So, I don't know. Yeah, the combo looks okay in the game, right? Still looks pretty cool, especially with the disc over there. Next one we have Mirage Devilos D6. So, there's the combo for that. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling this one a little bit more just because of the parts that are included, right? That wheel disc is still nice to have. I've said that like five times now. So yeah, even in the game, stats are looking decent too. Okay, test battle in our Volt Knockout base stadium. Yeah, so I guess this is the face-off against the Dragon Fire Base. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Ooh, not bad. Ooh, redirect. So left right. spin versus right spin. Yo, needling just like popped <laughs> over. Oh. Yo, but I, I burst in hitting your dead body. Dang. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh. Dragon just getting bursted, hey? Yo, I did not expect that. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Yes. Alright. I think the dragon with healing is just falling apart. Oh. Dude. No. No. Not strategy. strategy again. Okay. Who's gonna have a ton of stamina? Oh. I will oh. apparently. Yo. The stats are correct. I got 11 in stamina apparently with the Mirage Devil. <laughs> Three, Three. Two. One. Three. Oh. That was pretty sick. This is the thing. I'm not like a huge fan of the design of the base, but Speedstorm battles though are pretty good. It's true. So like Especially once you in actually the stadium. Exactly. Once you actually get them in the stadium, it's actually pretty fun. So that is it for our unboxing on the Dragon Fire Flame thingy set. Dragon face Fire off, Face man. Off. Dragon Fire Face Off. It's just like what a name, guys. What a name. So there you go. The two bays that you get. Plus the super limited edition red 11 disc right there. That Damn. you'll never use. Yeah, that you'll probably never use, legit, never use. But overall though, okay, for Speedstorm, 
if you don't have that many products, this one might not be the worst to get. At least you do get a bonus item if you don't have colored discs, right? Yeah, I don't know. This was like 40 bucks Canadian. I think in the States it's 25. So you guys in the US, like it's not that bad of a deal. Um, but in Canada though, we're getting fleeced though. 40 no. bucks. Don't get suckered into the dragon Ooh. theme, but if you just like the set, sure. Yeah. I mean, it looks good. On shelves, it looks pretty cool, right? But uh, yeah, overall though, if you have nothing else better to buy, like, okay, just pick it up. Pick it up. It's not that bad. Let us know what you guys think of this set down in the comment section below, okay? Especially for you guys in the States, it's a better deal, so yeah. Wait for it to go on sale. Yeah, not too bad. Alright, like this video, subscribe, and as always, Geek's out!